this is a phrase that people always associate with Rome called the vomitorium. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's not what it sounds like. like. Everybody thinks that they got there and they threw up and then they went back and ate again. Mm-hmm. That's not what they did. I always thought they did that. Yeah, no, the vomitorium refers to the way they got people out of the stadium. It had nothing to do with the word vomit. Oh. Huh. It's the way the stadium is structured is this gigantic, that's a vomitorium, is the, the, the exit. So they had all these exits. They had a bunch of different doors all throughout the building. Like mm-hmm. if you, you look at like some images of the Coliseum, there's all these pathways. Like you would go, you know, 30 yards over, there's another pathway. 30 yards over, there's another pathway. And that allowed an efficient way of getting people, see like look at all the doorways. See all those doorways wow. all around it? That, that was an efficient method of getting people out of the stadium. So they called it a vomitorium, but it, uh, uh, like if you look the etymology of the word, like f- look up the the origins of the word vomitorium and what it means in Latin, but it doesn't have anything to do with vomit, mm. but it sounds like it. So mm-hmm. everybody was like, oh, they, they just fucking ate and threw up. So people right. like sort of repeated that over and over and over again. They'd stick a feather down their throat. I'm sure someone did that. Yeah. I'm sure there was some fat that fuck that today. wanted to keep partying. That happens right now oh, in yeah. Los Angeles. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. I used to date a girl who had a problem with that. So did I. Yeah. A okay, lot of vomitorium. Them. Okay, here it was. A place which, according to popular misconception, the ancient Romans were supposed to have vomited. That's not true. Um, The arch of a series of entrances or exit pathways in an ancient Roman amphitheater or theater. Yeah. See, that's what it really means. So the popular misconception, the second version of it, but translate, use over time. What what is the origins of the word, though? Like, what does that mean? Vomitoria is the plural noun. Huh. That's weird. That's the plural Vomitoria. Well, probably, probably, you know, it sounds like it's where people would vomit out of, right? Yeah, they, but it's not vomit. That's mm-hmm. not, it's like, that's our f- word, yeah, but that's not like what they would call it. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, our word vomit is puke, mm-hmm. but that's not what they were referring to when they were calling it a vomitorium. It's just one of those weird Latin things. Mm. But everybody always thinks that. Everybody thinks that that's what a vomitorium was. Like, can you imagine if there was a fucking house that people would go to throw up in? Yeah. Like, hey, let's, we're going to go to the vomitorium. <laughs> fucking puke. Like, what kind eat of assholes? Eat. Here's a feather. But Speak. you would call it the puke house? Yeah. Like, that is so ridiculous. The puke room. <laughs> the vomitorium. The puke room, the sauna room. What is the actual, does it say? Jamie? It says here there's two misinterpret or where it might have came from, the misinterpretation. Well, yeah, but what does the original, what does the actual word mean? Like vomitorium. It just, uh, it, did, it sounds like it's it, the entrance. Spew, this is just yeah, right here, to spew, spew forth. forth. Oh, to spew forth. To spew forth. And I wonder if vomit, vomit actually came from that then. Oh, for sure. Probably. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So the original thing was an exit, and then vomit became that. Yeah. Huh, that's interesting. It's kind of how language happens, right? Yeah, but that's, it's, well, it's weird how it happens over thousands of years, how things distort and warp. Yeah, that's how language is always changing. Yeah. It's always changing. We're, we're always making up our own languages. It's